Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a particular problem that I solved for one of my readers where he wanted to transpose the data from rows to column. But this is not the usual transpose that we are speaking about. He just wanted to transpose um, rows from just one column into multiple columns. Let's just take a look at the problem and then I'll explain you how did I solve it. So here is some data. We have employee ID, we have the name and we have the training and one particular employee could undergo multiple trainings and all the trainings that the employee undergoes are mentioned one underneath the other in rows. Now what that person wants to do is that he would like to have Excel in column number one, Power BI in column number two and communication in column number three. Similarly for the rest of the employees. Now this isn't the usual transpose that we typically do in Excel. And let's see how can we do that using Power Query. So first things first, let me just load the data in Power Query. You can already see that I have a solution here. We'll get to the solution with the use of Power Query. So uh, I click on the data. I go to the data tab. This has been already converted into a table structure. So uh, I'm just gonna click on from table range and I get a query. Now this is table two, let's just give it a name. Maybe let's just call it output or let's just call it transpose. The first thing that I'm gonna do here is that um, since every employee has got a uh, blank rows underneath, so I'm gonna select both these columns, employee ID and the name by holding the control key and I'm gonna say fill them down. So fill down, this will fill the rows at the bottom with the same value as on the top. Once I do that, you can see that I have duplicates. So I have the employee ID appearing multiple number of times for the number of times that the employee has undergone a different training. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the duplicates and you can see that uh, this guy, employee number three, went and un underwent an Excel training two times. So Excel and Excel. In case you'd like to show the name Excel both the times into two different columns, that's fine. In case you would like to remove the duplicates, then I would suggest you to do that. So how do you do that? We'll make a concatenation of employee ID and the training column. So I select this one first, hold the control key, select the training second, and then by just the selection of the two columns, I am just going to right click here and it is going to say remove duplicates. Now, when I select both the columns and I say remove duplicates, this means that why don't you combine the two columns and then remove the duplicates. So it is not going to remove all the duplicate trainings. It's just going to remove the duplicates training for the particular employee. So remove duplicates and you can see the second Excel is gone. Now, again, you can see the employee, the employee records are duplicated. What I'd like to do is I'd like to somehow not duplicate the, um, the employee again and again, but still try to retain the training information. Um, so you can see that the output here, uh, we have the employee name just appearing once and all the information appearing in columns. So to do that, I somehow needs to need to have a, a unique list of all the employees. So for that, I'm just going to select the home tab, sorry, the transform tab, and I'm just going to choose the group by option. In the group by option, it says uh, group by what? So in the advanced tab, I'm gonna group by employee ID and group it by the name of the employee. And I'm just gonna create new column. Let's just say, or let's just call it trainings. Uh, and the operation here is going to be all the rows. That means that it's going to create a table which is going to have all the rows. So the first column that you're going to see after I click OK is going to be employee ID and the employee name non-duplicated just once and the second column is going to be trainings where all the trainings are going to appear so i'm just going to click on ok and you can see that uh, in the third column trainings it has created a table where all the records of that employee are there just take a look you can see that chandeep underwent three trainings excel power bi and communication and all my records are right here now we're not going to expand it because if we expand it we're going to come back to the to the data that we loaded so what we're going to do is out of this three columnar data for chandeep i'm just going to extract the training data as a list all right so i'm going to go in the add columns tab and i'm going to click on a custom column and i'll create a custom column here let's just have uh, the same name so call it training I'm going to write a formula here equals to table dot column, right? So this is what it says. Um, go in this column, which is the trainings column. In this column, you will find a table. In that table, please extract the training column, right? And what it'll do is it'll just take down all the records, Excel, Power BI and communication and make it as a list. 
We'll see that in a moment. I'm going to click on OK. And what you see here is a list. Now, when I click on the list, you can see that it has just one column, which is called as a list. And it has the names of all the trainings. Now, our job is to somehow combine this list in such a way that uh, it comes in a single cell. So when you click on expand here, you have the option of expanding to new, new rows, but that's not what I want. I'm going to say that please extract the values in a single cell only. That means all the trainings that you saw here or here are going to appear in the single cell. So click on the double headed arrow, click on extract values, and it asks you for a delimiter. Uh, let's say if you already have commas or spaces, do not provide any of that delimiter. Uh, let's just go with a custom and let's just provide a pipe symbol. And I'm going to click on OK. And you can see that uh, it has taken Excel, pipe, Power BI, pipe, communication, right? Now, all that I have to do is split this column with a delimiter, which is a pipe. So split a, a split a column with a delimiter. My delimiter is a pipe. So a pipe right here. And I'm going to click on OK and this spreads out in all the rest of the columns. Now, all that I have to do is remove this column, which I created as a table. So from the home tab, I'm going to click on choose columns and I'm just going to take off the training column, which is this column and click on OK. And now I have employee ID name, training one, training two, training three, training four. Uh, and that's about it. I'm just going to close the data, close and load. And the data comes up like that, right? So let me just close this query because I'm not going to load the data once again. And if you would, I'm just going to discard this query. And if you would like to take a look at this query, click on this here, click on query, click on edit, and you will be seeing the same query that I just created in front of you. Well, that's about it. This is how you kind of transpose uh, slightly tricky data which is into a single columnar, multiple rows into multiple columns. In case you were to solve this problem, let me know in the comments, how would you solve this problem with Excel, with DAX, Power BI or Power Query? Let me know how would you solve the problem. In case you haven't understood anything, please feel free to drop in a comment. I'll be more than happy to help you out there as well. Thanks so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.